Hi, this is Heather from A More Crafty Life. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pink bubbles um, baby blanket using a simple shell stitch. In the original pattern, I used Bernat baby blanket yarn dappled in Ever After Pink, which is kind of a pink coral color. I used two 10.5 ounce skeins and a nine millimeter crochet hook. Today I'm going to show you, um, I have 9mm crochet hook and I'm using um, Bernat Blanket Yarn um, and Terracotta Rose. For this pattern, you need a multiple of 6 plus 2. For the blanket, I used 62, so 6 times 10 plus 2 stitches. Um, for the example, I'm just going to use 26, 24 plus 2. So what you need to do is chain your 62 Okay, so when you have your 62, we'll come back. Okay, so when you have your 62 stitches, you are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, and make one single crochet. Then you're gonna skip two chains, one, two, and in the third, you are going to do five double crochets, which is what is going to make the show. So one, two, all in the same stitch, three, four, and five. So it should look like this. This will be your shell. Then you're going to skip two stitches one, two, and in the third, you're going to do one single crochet. Then you're gonna skip two stitches, one, two, and in the third, you're going to do five double crochets, again, making your shell. There's three, four, and five, okay? Then you are going to skip two, and in the third, do one single crochet. So then that's the pattern. It's skip two stitches, do five double crochets, and one stitch, skip two stitches, do one single crochet, and then repeat. You can find this written pattern on my blog, A More Crafty Life, plus lots of other free patterns. Okay, so there's my single crochet. I skip two and I do five double crochet in the same stitch. And you continue this way until you get to the end of the row where you end with in the last stitch in the last stitch with one single crochet. So there's three, four, and five. Then you skip two chains, one, two, single crochet, skip two chains,
and keep working and the last stitch is a single crochet. Okay, so when you get to the end, your last stitch is a single crochet, then you're going to chain three. And that is going to make the first of what's like a half of a shell. So there's three, so one, and then two double crochets. Then you are going to skip to the middle double crochet of the shell, the third one and do one single crochet. Then you're going to skip to the single crochet and do five double crochets to make the shell in the same stitch. There's two, three, four, and five. And then you're just going to repeat this one single crochet in the middle of the shell and five double crochets in the single crochet until you get to the end of the row. And I will meet you back there. It should look, this is what it's going to start looking like. I'll meet you back at the end of the row. Okay, so I'm towards the end of the row. I've done a single crochet on my last, at the top of my last shell in the middle. And then you're going to do three double crochets in the very last stitch. And that makes the other half of the shell. Then you are going to chain one. And then you just start your two row repeat over. You do five shells in the single crochet, one single crochet in the third double crochet, and you repeat to the end, ending with a single crochet. And then you just keep repeating um, the two rows until you have 35 rows. Um, like I said, you can find this pattern and more on my blog, A More Crafty Life. Thanks.